Hey, are you good to see you? Good to see you too, Bruce. Hey, yeah, you can have a few questions. I've I've been interested in asking you so many things. Uh, I've interviewed you over the years and I've enjoyed it so much just because, you know, it was such a great honor for me to be able to sit down with somebody who had played on the circuit and been number 19 and also in the singles, but also in the doubles. So great, uh, such a great record and to do so well and a Wimbledon quarter finalist and all these different things that you achieved. Um, first of all, I want to ask you, um, what are you up to right now, Yayuk? Thank you, Bruce. Well, it's, uh, it's an honor also for me. Actually, we know each other for a long time, for ages, right? And yeah. um, since, since you're in England, so I, I haven't seen you for, for also for ages as well. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, at the moment, because this is uh, during the pandemic, I think it's, it's hard for everybody. But uh, this kind of situation, you, you can't give up. Then, you know, you have to, to do something as well to stay healthy, to maintain your body, your condition, make sure you'll be able to fight against the COVID. So mm. what I'm doing, I'm still doing exercise as, um, as usual, but, but not as much as like the way it was, of course. You know, maybe I'm doing exercise like playing tennis uh, twice or three times a week. And then beside that, maybe uh, walking also, uh, sometimes also bicycling. And mm. then I have another, actually, uh, another things to do that might be very different kind, which is, uh, you know, I'm, I love planting right now. So, oh, really? <laughs> so I, you know, yeah. So, you know, I've, I've been trying to, to somehow I have like, um, I don't know how many spaces right now, maybe a bit over 100 in my ah. little in my little terrace actually so <laughs> yeah well, it's interesting that's keeping me busy as well <laughs> isn't that funny because here in in england too everybody has got into the whole thing of gardening and and you know taking care of the plants and yes big thing yeah because you've got to stay at home right so yes exactly all right hey yeah, yeah we need to keep us busy it does. We need to keep busy, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. To ask you. Um, obviously, I know a lot about your career and everything, but I want to be introducing you to other people, right? Um, who you know, the younger generation who've heard your name. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of there's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube. I see there's you against Navratilova. There's that great match against Steffi Graf, which has got something like. I think it's almost 200,000 views. The one at the US Open, I think it's 1996 where you really push graph. But yeah. tell me about, um, I've read your biography or autobiography in Indonesian, which I think one day should be in English because it was a very interesting story, particularly the beginning of the story and how you started out with tennis and your background. So tell me about um, how you got into tennis when you were a child in, uh, in Yogyakarta. Yes, um, well, uh, my father taught me, you know, my father taught me and get me into the tennis court. Uh, actually, uh, it was uh, starting the beginning when I was four years old. I was um, watching um, my father playing with uh, teaching how to play tennis uh, to my sister and my brothers because I'm the youngest. So I'm, I was just watching them and sometimes, you know, how little, little girl just running around, try to catch the balls and that's when the beginning of four years. But then uh, I starting, you know, starting to think like, why don't I touch my record? I mean, you know, it's not my record, but my father record at the beginning. You know, long time ago, your record is like, it's the wood one, right? It's so heavy. Yes, it is heavy. So I'm like, you know, trying to pull it, you know, the, the record is, uh, I, I mean, I think the record is even bigger than me, I guess. So yeah and then it's it's so heavy it was still the wood record wouldn't i i think i believe i was touching a dunlop record that time that's yeah, the beginning yeah. max play. yes max, max play. play exactly you remember then i started uh, uh, to grab the record starting when i was i think uh, seven years old try to hit on the um because uh, beside our house, there's just a tennis court mm -hmm. and try to hit in the wall. 
So mm. you know, like every day. I mean, my my father. You know, when he left to the office, I'm you know I'm still a little one, and then when I get back from the school, you know, maybe like during noon, try to hit the wall again, and and when my father get back, and he you know he can he can hear mm. those sound. It's like who is banging the wall? You know, mm. it's like so he asked my mom then. Mom, who is banging the wall? It's like that's Yayu, that's your daughter. What? So he tried to look, and then and you know he start to to try to teach me and coaching me in the beginning, but it's because he doesn't have much time. So he um, uh, actually he start to to uh, to let one of the uh, uh, I believe uh, uh, not professor, but uh, some. Um, uh what is that a teacher you know some mm-hmm. teacher to start to to play with me during like mm-hmm. after school before before my father off from the office mm-hmm. you know like when we he, before he get back so maybe i can start mm-hmm. first with uh, with uh, the teacher and mm-hmm. try to also hear with him and that's how we get started but anyway my father taught me how sure. how to you know to start and everything you know he taught mm-hmm. me everything yeah but um, and you were very quick to kind of make progress, right? You were already playing when you were like 13, 14 year olds. You were yes. on and getting to the final pawn is the Indonesian national. Uh, Actually, sport. I started to play pawn when I was only uh, 10, uh, going to 11. Crazy. So I was Crazy. very, yeah, I was uh, not even 11 years old. And then until, you know, you know how they, Actually, when when we call it now, maybe it's like bullying, right? So you know, people is like, oh my god, that um, Jakarta province doesn't have any other players or what? Why they send the kid? You know, they send the kid to play, and 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 you know, that time there was no rule. Uh, right now they have rules like minimum is gotta be fourteen, but mm. that that time has no rule yet so so you know i was only 11 and i could play and that's when when for me um, even the pawn giving me a lot of experience and then on that edge as well uh, i already went to thailand to play to play the high school games for the asian high school games mm. so you know i it start me uh, you know it's starting to to get me like like offer i mean it's, I didn't win yet, but uh, mm. maybe I started to win when starting 1983, 84, mm. yes, you it's were national, right, yeah. 13, 14, yeah. But um, it, as a national, yeah, in the in the province, I already win when I'm, I'm starting 11 years old already. Sure, great. So you had that <laughs> natural talent, huh? You had that great natural talent. Yes, that's what um, my father th- told me, and then everyone else will all, also say it as well. Yeah. Mm. But your father was not one of these uh, stereotypical tennis parents, like the Mary Pierce's dad, or Capriati's dad, or even Steffi Graf's dad, who had to control everything. Yeah, he let you go to to the sports academy in Jakarta, and what was that experience like? Yeah, you. Yes, um, you were right. My father already, like, uh, like I told you, he taught me until you know when I uh, uh, finished the uh, the not kindergarten but junior high school. Mm-hmm. Already starting in Jakarta, he let me go because he think that I can improve a lot when I'm in Jakarta. So he let me go to the um, the better coaches, which is. Uh, Mrs. Min Gondovichoyo, that she was the national coach, and um, and he let me, uh, he trust her, so he let me mm. go to Jakarta and and stay over and live in uh, in Ragunan for uh, six years, you know, mm. during the the high school period. Mm. So I think that's when you know during during that time in the sports center. Well, you know how the the life about the not only as as a kid but you know as a as a young kid or you know mm-hmm. young young people and and for me it's very good that i keep the commitment first mm-hmm. of all and second of all i knew that why i'm away from my parents so i have the responsibility mm-hmm. 
So the third one that, uh, you know, why I'm here that I have, I, that I want to be the champion. That's mm -hmm. the three things that I always keep, you know, in, the, in I put in my mindset there. Yeah. Mm. Do you think actually, Yayuk, when um, going to the academy where you would have had people from so many different parts of Indonesia, was that actually good for you later on when you went into the um, into the circuit? Because you would have already had that thing of having to adapt. You weren't just in Jojo with other Javanese people, but you were with, you know, um, people from the eastern part of Indonesia all coming together at the academy. Do you think that was good for you, Yayuk? Yeah, I think, you know, you know, I think it's very good and, you know, keeping us all together and we have to work and, you know, you're not only, oh, okay, I'm from Jogja, you know, mm. I have this uh, Javanese culture. So mm. you have to share also with the culture from either maybe Kalimantan, Borneo and, and all around the, uh, the country, actually. But yeah. which, you know, I think it's really keeping us, you know, as like, um, I don't know, we feel like you're one, you know, you're all in the one nation and, mm -hmm. and, and everything, you have to work things out together. So mm -hmm. you're sharing everything. So we feel like, I don't know, uh, the friendship is very good. And, and, and we're like, you know, you're not talking about different religion it doesn't matter what kind of religion you are but you're you're indonesian so this mm. this thing that is really good well maybe maybe if you seen this time if you uh, hear about it or or listen about hey what's going on about uh, uh, what's going on in indonesia or sometimes you know they're very sensitive about the religion or all those stuff but during my time i have no problem with that we're all one you know even I'm a Muslim, my friend, my, my friend are, are most of them are Christian or Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, or they are mostly Chinese. I have no problem with that. You know, that's we are, you know, we feel like we're one. Mm. That was that was when I went to Indonesia the first time in 1985 as a high school exchange student in, Pad, in Padang, right, with my yes. Muslim family, my Muslim husband. That's what I felt, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, we had a Javanese lady, Tari, who worked for us. So you had that feeling that Indonesia, everybody proud of being Indonesian, right? Wherever you yes. go. Yes. Right? So anyway. I mean, as you know, as you know, the reputation at that time, we're a peaceful country. I mean, mm. you know, I mean, you were here for a long time. Mm. And, you know, we feel, uh, we feel, so, you know, peaceful. I mean, you know, we never feel like... Um, I don't know, somehow people get scared or whatever and and they feel like a racist or stuff. No, I have no problem with that at that mm. time. No, Indonesians, I mean, Indonesians are among the warmest people you can meet, right? They're so warm. Yes. Uh, when you meet them, uh, when you go over there to Indonesia and everything is, you know, it's a unique, beautiful country. Yes. To me. When you go yes, to thank you. Feel <laughs> yes. Anyway. I yeah, bet yeah. you miss us. You miss Indonesia, oh, didn't you? No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the food. But yes, definitely. Indonesia. Definitely like what you recommend me about the Lombok. Uh, remember oh. Lombok restaurant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still went there. I mean, uh, at least once a week or once yeah. every like, two weeks, you know. Yes, of course. Yeah. I love the food. <laughs> You're making me jealous. Hey, um, yeah, <laughs> let's go on to your um, your actual career, right? Um, can I just stop the recording? So I'll break it up into different recordings, okay? I'm going to stop okay. here. Okay. 